what's happening once again it's VJ the brother from the ancient mother voice horse as a motherfucker because life is good and we occasionally spoil ourselves by attending hip-hop events that still cement the fact that there's a thriving culture of enthusiasts and lovers of the culture who always strive to make every moment count anyways review is special to me because I'm a fan of this person and I want to declare that from the very beginning um, I'm a fan of art and I'm a fan of artists who are self-aware I was just saying with Takeza I love an artist who knows what they are because when you know what you are very few things can sway you from the authentic progress of where your life just naturally flows you understand that in the midst of industry expectations, um, capitalist aspirations, and commercial interest, what matters the most is your own artistic expression and how you want to let that envelop into the world. Why am I talking about all this shit? Gigi Lamain, um, undoubtedly one of South Africa's X Factor rappers, um, especially in the case that she's the few who happen to be female. Um, I, I put the air tags because it just, it's getting a little bit annoying to, to have to warrant special status to women rapping purely because they're women. There's nothing special about that. You know, rappers are rappers. So, Gigi Lamine is a rapper and the kind of rapper she is, is a fascinating idea to look into. Gigi practically started off in rapping probably about circa 2013. Um, as somebody who introduced themselves as a lyricist akin to the boom bap sound growing into a commercial direction but still very much concerned with storytelling and bringing herself across as an organic narrator of anecdotal experiences then walagasha something happened something that the whole of South Africa witnessed Gigi Lemayne went through an intense aesthetic and subsequently artistic transformation and when I say transformation we get used to seeing people in a certain kind of light because they present themselves to us in the public context Gigi was your um, fresh out of vids anthropology and media major who was really set on enriching the hip-hop space with feminine voices that were conscious about doing more than playing to the male gaze and then all of a sudden we saw exactly what she claimed to not do we saw her playing straight into the idea of the sexual object and that in and of itself isn't a problem I mean if if you want to objectify yourself as part of your artistic direction that's part of you empowering yourself my thing about Gigi with her string of albums and when I say string of albums let's take it from projects like Job Woods, Color of Rain from that you started to notice the fact that she wanted to come into the fold of the kind of feminine rapper that was thriving and the archetype we'll call it the Nikki Lil Kim archetype has been the consistent tone of how female rappers are commercially marketed and yes she jumped for this and in her discovering how to be within this context it always felt to me that she was trying to break into something that really wasn't in any way or form vaguely related to who she was as a person I mean everybody's sexy if they want to be and if they believe it um, everybody can command that everybody can bring it through we all have the power to coax and to seduce our way into spaces when we understand what is so magneted magnetically attractive about ourselves and and that's where my issue with Gigi lies I don't think she knows what's attractive about her above and beyond the fact that she's got beautiful dark skin luscious lips and whatever the fact is that there's something about Gigi that screams sincerity 
There's something about Gigi that screams innocence trying to navigate itself in a dark world. And when I say innocence, I don't mean free of sin. I just mean somebody who, to a large extent, is still playing in an idealistic sense. Gigi's an idealist. She reaches for the goals she believes are possible. And an idealist can quickly be broken in a world that is so utilitarian and uses people solely for what they represent. And I think through her latest project, Set in Stone, this is what happens, tragically. She falls into the trope of being yet another failed Nicki Minaj last Lil Kim, mainly because I feel none of these songs epitomize who she is as a person. Gigi doesn't strike me as the kind of woman, and if she's watching this, I really want her to engage with me on this, because like I said, I'm a fan. And as a fan, I've come accustomed to my understanding of who she is. And it might not be who she is at all. And I think who she is at heart is the girl who'd rather sit at home and have a nice warm cup of coffee and hang with people she loves rather than the girl who'd be out and about. And again, this is not a either or. This is people are people and they're different. But I do think it's really important to embrace the fact that I don't want to go to the clubs. I'm not the kind of person who goes to the club every weekend. I'm not the kind of person who'd like to be in this environment. And when I see Gigi, I see an artist caged by the expectation of what they think they need to be. This album is suffocated by that. From On My Jane, George Koch, Iloto, Good Good, these songs are all consistent, typical stereotypes. Let me play into the girl who likes her alcohol. Let me play into the girl who loves hanging with the girls and affirms her femininity by being sick. It's like it's, we've heard it before. And it's only interesting if you're about that life. And Set in Stone seems to be like the markings of a tombstone rather than the hieroglyphics in the walls. It's not a message that teaches us about the essence of who we are. It's really like reading a eulogy. This album feels like Gigi consistently putting the nail in the coffin of her career by virtue of her own inability to embrace her authenticity. She feels like a Rhapsody type MC trying to be a Nicki Minaj. And for anybody who knows the two, that would be atrocious. And my only question is, is it our fault? Is it our fault that South Africa has a climate that is so narrow that the broad variety of artists who operate in it feel they have to play by these very narrow margins of what to be? Is it our fault that Gigi Lamain, a clearly talented MC whose merit for bars is not in question here, but whose songwriting keeps being milked into the industry machine and turned into another monotonous, dry attempt to reach for a standard that somebody else has set. Gigi is murdering her own career. Why are you doing this? Is it working? Are you getting anything from it? Is the money enough? Because I know the fame is not. I know that with South Africa's flimsy illusion of a pop culture, you can't maintain enough of a reputation to sleep at night. I know that if creativity is in question and capitalism is the goal, I hope you're gigging enough to allow yourself to still be. But the thing is, we relate to artists based on the essence of who they are. And I think we don't relate to Gigi Lamain. We've gotten to a point where we just tolerate her because of the stunts, because of every video that she's posted on social media, because she's become yet another meme in the extensive artifact of people desperately trying to be noticed by playing into the games that others have determined. Gigi, I believe in you. And this album is awful. This album is terrible. It was, it, was, it was hard to go through this. It was hard to go through this because it's musically uninspiring. It's sonically not refreshing. The producers here simply vomit the same formulaic structures and whether she's writing the hooks and the verses on her own, which I really hope she isn't. Because if she really is, then none of it feels authentic. None of it feels that it comes from a real place. It is, 
none of the hooks catch on in a way where it's not about being catchy. It's about having the ability to sum up people's experiences in ways that are simple and rhythmic. And I think that works if you understand what your experiences are. I think Gigi could write better hooks if they were about her life rather than the life that she's trying to depict. So it just got political in this motherfucker, but for a reason. And the reason is that artists like Gigi are dying in the ashes of aspirations that don't fit them. This is an album set in stone and left as a mark to show us that you need to be yourself. And I'm talking to Gigi, but I'm also talking to all these other artists. I'm giving this project a 2 out of 10. I'm giving it a 2 out of 10 because it, it is what to not to do as an artist. Don't strangle yourself for anything. Because when you do that, you're only compromising the value of your own narrative. I believe in you, Gigi. Again, this is about the creativity and the fact that I see an artist who is, who is something that this project is not about. And as a result, it sounds fake. Everything about it just sounds like a rehashed rendition of everything we're hearing. It's been the Headspace. My name is PJ, the brother from the Ancient Mother. I need to go cry about how bad this album was. <laughs>